So welcome everybody to day three of our Client Appreciation Week. We are on a journey through the body. Every day I'm trying to give you a different body part to think about and some quick little exercises that you could have for that body part so that you could keep working on it every week, hopefully. So today's body part is hips. So we're on to hips. We've been through spine and shoulder. And we're going to focus on the hip, both a little bit of opening hip and strengthening hip at the same time. So I think we're going to start down on the mat, just without any props for the moment. And, but for today, if you have a roller and a TheraBand or a strap, that would be great. If you don't have a roller, a pillow or a block, something that you could put underneath your hips would be just fine. So get those things together and then meet me down here on the mat. All right, so the other piece that I just picked up was a little ball. If you have that, you could use that. If you don't, you could use your roller or your pillow, same um, in between your knees as well. Any of those things would work. We're gonna start with just a breath in. I put my feet and knees all the way together. If you can do that and be comfortable there, that's great. And you wanna just find yourself on the mat here, taking a breath in, exhaling, letting your belly Sink inward, tailbone heavy, and inhale again, and exhale. Just let your low belly sink in on that exhale. So keeping pressure on your tail, pressure at the back of your head, but no pressure in your neck or tension, no pressure in that lower back. I'm just pulling my belly in towards my spine, holding that neutral position. One more breath in here, and exhaling. Good, relax all the tension out of your upper body, all any tension we don't need. Right, great. So grab one of your, either your ball, pillow, roller, block, you can put it between your knees for the moment. Relaxing that body here, I'm gonna have you just squeeze that ball in as you exhale and release. And squeeze and release. So we're doing, we're working on hip today. Strengthening the hip and opening the hip. I think we need a lot of both in our lives. We do a lot of sitting. That tends to close the front of the hip joint. And that can cause all kinds of tightness and imbalance in the body. So I'm going to make sure you know my favorite hip opening stretches today, both for the front of the hip and for the back of the hip. And then if there's ever any dysfunction at the hip, the back side tends to tighten up and makes it difficult to move the hip. That can affect the walking, your walking pattern, how you stand, all those functional activities in your life. So it's a great idea to be, have strong, balanced hip. So that's what we're after. So you're gonna hold the ball in, pressing little pulses now inward. So I'm just doing little tiny pulses in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold. Right leg's gonna open and push back to where you started, just the right leg. Left leg is holding steady, not moving at all. Pressing in, good, pressing in. Press and press, press and press, press and hold. Left leg's gonna open and press. Right leg's holding steady, good, press and press, press and press. Press and press, press and press, press and press. Nice. Keep some pressure on that ball. You're going to take a breath in. Let your belly drop down. Tail's going to reach long away and curl into that coccyx curl. Hold the coccyx curl. I'm trying to stretch my tail far away from me. I can actually take my hands, put some pressure on my thighs as I do that. And then feel the glutes kick in, squeezing the glutes at the end of this motion. And I'm going to roll my way back down. Exhale, belly drops, lengthening through the spine, rolling the tail upward into that coccyx curl, giving yourself a little pressure away. And then back down. And one more. Pressing away, curling up that tail. Hold here now. 
We're going to roll right through and lift upward. Good. So we're in our bridge. We like being in bridges. There's so much happening here. So for today, uh, we're focused on the hip. What I want you to think about is keeping your knees straight. So that's why the ball or roller is there between your knees, just to help you keep that alignment. Now I want you to think about wrapping your glutes underneath you, pressing your bottom for up into your hips. So I'm really pressing my bottom into my hips to open the front of my thighs. Keep pressing, squeezing. At the same time, make sure you're not overarching your back. So you're going to keep that length in the tail. If you're feeling pressure in your back, push the hips away from you, underneath you. Good. Stretch the back of the neck. The upper body's still not carrying any stress. Good. Squeeze. We have enough stress without adding to it, right? Keep squeezing those glutes up, trying to open the hips. Now, with your heels, pull your heels towards your, hip, your bottom. So your body's going to feel like it's getting pulled forward. Keep lifting the hips up in underneath you. Good. And rolling, stretching your way back down. Nice and steady. Good. If that felt like a lot of work to you, you're going to stay with that same motion. If you have a little more work that you can, we can get out of you, you're going to roll the hips up without the ball there, keeping that alignment perfect. So keeping that alignment, I'm going to now wrap those glutes, open my hip, hips both. Then I'm going to pick one leg up to tabletop. If that's too much, you stay on two feet. You don't want to watch, you don't want to see your hip drop as you do that. So I'm going to keep squeezing upward, then send that leg out and in, out and in, out and in, out, in and out and in. And bring it back down. Square your pelvis. Make sure you're even. Wrap the glute underneath you, hip pressing forward, and bring the other leg up. Good. Pressing out and in. Pressing out and in. Really squeezing in underneath you and in, out and in, out and in, and out and in. Bring it down. Good. Square your pelvis off. Lengthen the tail away and roll back down one vertebra at a time all the way down your spine. Great. So here we go again, rolling up one more time. Keep nice and steady, even. Pull the heels towards your hips so that you're getting stretched long. Keep wrapping the glutes in underneath you. Take one leg straight out. Now it's going up, flex down, point up, flex down, point up. Flex down, point up, and replace. Keeping level, find that balance. Tail is long, stretch the leg out going up. Flex down, point up, flex down, point up, flex down, point up, flex down, and replace. We're going to unwind the spine, lengthening the tail, rolling your way back down. Nicely done. Okay, we're rolling to your side. So here you can have a number of places where you want to be. You could be up on your elbow. That's the hardest position. You could be partway down here, hand underneath your neck. Or if your neck's an issue, you can go all the way down flat on your arm. Good. So I'm going to stay up here just so I can also watch all of you. I'm going to turn this bottom thigh into the mat. My body's in a straight line here. I'm pulling myself together, so trying to shorten this underside. Take that top leg up, stretch it really long, flex the foot, and bring it down. Up, point, down, up, flex, down, up, point, up, flex, up, point, up, flex, up, point, up, flex, point, and flex, point, and flex, and point and flex. Beautiful, turn that foot open. So I'm trying to turn my toes and knee together to the sky. Same thing going up point, up flex, up point, up flex, up point, up flex, point and flex, point and flex, and point and flex. Nice, holding there, you're gonna kick front twice, Point, reach back. So trying to keep that hip level, 
or my leg level with my hip as I go kick, kick, point, reach. I want to lengthen through my tummy, hold my body steady as I go, right? So here we're working the muscles that hold you up in stance, believe it or not, but we're doing it in sideline. And when we go to turn out, which we'll go again in a minute, and reach back, beautiful. Bring that leg down, bend your knees. You're gonna open to the clam here and back down. So when we get to this, we're now working those hip rotators. Those are gonna help us with that motion, but also a lot with stability in our, in our leg and in our stands too. So rotating here and rotating, good. Rotate and rotate. Rotate and rotate, rotate and rotate. So now for those of you who already have buns of steel, we'll give you a challenge. If, that's, if this is too much, you can stay with what we were just doing. You're gonna take the leg straight out here. I brought my legs to 90 degrees. This leg straight up, I'm gonna pulse it up for eight counts. Five, six, seven, eight, circle. Five, six, seven, eight, circle the other way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, make a figure eight. Three, I don't know how to do this well. Five, six, seven, eight, and then reverse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice, you're gonna take the foot, place it down in front of you, Hold it there if you can. If that's too much, you just leave the knee down here. That's fine too. If you can, you'll pull this here. I'm gonna take the bottom leg, stretch it straight out and kick up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great. We're going to roll onto your stomach for a minute here. Hands are gonna rest on, underneath your forehead, forehead on your hands. I wanna pick up my belly and really find length in my low back. That's key here, otherwise I'll get into my low back. And really what we wanna do is get into our bottom and our hamstrings. So that's where I want you to feel this. If it's too much, you can also put a pillow under your belly. That will help you stay in a position where your back is not getting compressed and that we can get the work into your backside, bottom and glutes and legs. So here, I want you to imagine that somebody's grabbing your ankles and pulling them long off of you. And then you're gonna float the legs up. But what you wanna think about is lengthening the legs away, stretch them long, 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 and let them float off the mat. And then back down. So imagine I'm pulling those legs long and then they end up floating up off the mat. And back down. They get pulled long and float up and down. Pulled long, float up and down. Pulled long, float up. And down, so make sure your low back's not taking this and up. Hold there, little flutter kicking legs, but make sure that your back is not arching, right? I'm lifting my stomach up. I'm stretching those legs super long so my knees stay straight. Kicking legs, kicking legs, kicking legs, kicking legs, and lowering down, nice. Take a breath in, pick up that belly, turn your feet out this time. I'm still reaching long and I'm gonna try clicking my heels now. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. Keep stretching through the knees here. Keep stretching through the legs. Keep lifting up the belly as much as you can. And relax. Bend your knees, bring your heels together. Belly's up, I'm gonna squeeze the heels, press to the sky. Squeeze and press, squeeze and press, squeeze, press, squeeze and press, squeeze, press, squeeze and press, squeeze, press, squeeze, press, squeeze, 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 and squeeze. Beautiful. All right, you're going to roll to your other side. So I'm gonna flip around just so that you, my back is not in your face. Great, and then set yourself up on this side, the way you set yourself up initially on the other. Body's tight, stomach's tight. This leg, bottom leg is in the mat. Top leg's gonna reach out, flexed, and go down. Up, point, down, up, flex, down, up, point. 
up flex, up point, up flex, point and flex, point and flex. Turning open, up point, up flex, up point, up flex, up point, up flex, point and flex, point and flex, point and flex, and point and flex. Holding there, kick, kick, front, point, reach back. Nice tight body, kick, kick, point, reach. Stay in control, body's not moving, point, reach long. Kick, kick, point and reach. 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 Kick, kick, and point, reach. Beautiful. Leg comes down, bend your knees, and we're clamshell opening. Rolling open and release. Roll. Good. Squeezing those heels together. And roll. Good. Roll. And roll. Roll. And roll. And rotate. And rotate. Good. One more. And relax. Here's the challenge. Bring the legs up to about 90 degrees. If you can, take that top foot out just in front and pulse up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Circle front. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Circle back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Figure eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and reverse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, bend that top leg up, get a stretch there. The bottom leg goes out. If this is too much, you can just roll the knee down like this would be fine. Or if you have more room, you can stretch it this way. Stretch the bottom leg out, pulsing up, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. So now rolling onto your back, grab your roller as you go. And we're going to put it underneath your knees here. Take a breath in. Exhale, rolling through your coccyx curl and bridge and bring that roller right in underneath your sacrum there, underneath your pelvis. So the roller is at the point where my pelvis and my low back meet. Just on the pelvis though, not on the spine. I want to hold you for a moment, and I promised you my favorite stretches here. So take the legs one at a time up to tabletop. When you get there, you want to make sure that you don't have pressure on your neck and shoulders. So I'm going to widen my shoulders on the mat. Back of the neck stretches long. Belly is going to scoop inward. Right. And then I'm going to start with a little toe tap just for stability and to check in with my gut. Make sure that my belly is staying right down. I shouldn't be arching as I go. Right, a few little toe taps to get warmed up. And then we're going to go into one knee to your chest, the other leg stretched way out along the mat. So stretching it down and long. Keep reaching it away from you. Good. So here, you want to hold this stretch. You could hold it for quite a long time here. That bottom leg is stretching out. I'm trying to get the hip open on top of the roller. Then I could add more. I could add this hamstring stretch up with this leg, trying to reach it to the sky, getting a stretch there. Right. And then I can take that leg over to the side. Now, I'm going through these stretches pretty quickly because we just have a short little time together. But these are stretches that you can sit in for a long time and really stretch open those hips. Right. Then we're going to take the knee, bend it, bring the knee under the foot and open up into that hip rotator stretch. So I'm really trying to open now my left knee, my right leg's coming in towards me. And at the same time, I'm putting my tail back down on the roller. So really getting those hip rotators open here. Good, breathing into the stretch. 
Great. Then take both legs straight up to the sky and you're gonna open them out to the center. So we're getting the inner thighs open as well. Perfect. Great. And then we switch. I'm gonna bend my knees into my chest, take the other leg down and out that wasn't down and out before. Belly still pulling in. I'm really trying to open this hip down towards the floor. If you're not, I'm quite flexible in this direction. If you're not as flexible, it's okay that your leg's floating off the floor. You don't want to arch your back. You want to just keep stretching and stretching that leg down towards the floor. If you can, stretching up that hamstring, up that top leg towards the sky, trying to open up that hamstring. And then here you can even take the leg a little bit across to get a little bit more of the lateral side. Collecting up the knee, underneath your ankle, let the hip roll open. Yes. Great. And I'm kind of sitting my tail back down as I'm pulling it, my legs in towards my chest. So I get a nice wide opposite stretch. And then one more time, taking those legs up to the sky, opening to the center, letting those hips stay open. If you wanted to add a little adventure to your hip stretching, you could go into what we call helicopter. So I will rotate my legs around, one down, one up, open them and rotate the other way. It's always a really nice way to try and get those hips open and rotate. Right, and rotate. Squeeze center, open, rotate, and open, nice. Bring those legs up and into your chest, and then rolling your way out with the roller. I'm gonna have you roll onto your side and come up. So there is one last little piece I wanna to put together here. As you're coming up to sitting, if you can open your legs a little bit, so not too turned out, a little bit turned out, bring yourself forward. One of my favorite ways to open the hips is in this deep squat here. So if you can come to it from sitting, you could come to it from standing. You wanna try and set your heels down on the floor, right, and keep yourself here. It helps me to pull my shoulders forward and then press into my knees and really allow this to open up. So I'm pushing the knees into my elbows and my elbows into my knees, right? If this is too much for you, you could sit on a chair higher up and then just work to open the legs like this same way, bring your chest in between and elbows pushing out knees, right? If you're good at this already, this should feel like it's stretching all kinds of things open. If you're good at this already, you can work coming up and down into that if you have if you already have that if it's something that you're working towards i would say being in a chair seated and just pressing and letting your chest come forward a little bit pressing the elbows and the knees at each other pushing open right that's a really nice way to also open the hips or even sitting with that little butterfly so if you can try coming onto that squat Take a breath in and exhale. See if you can press your way up to standing. There you go. Shake out those legs, bring them together, and you've done it. So you have a little bit of a hip workout, a little bit of strength, a little bit of stretch going on. There is so much more we could spend probably three hours on just hips, but hopefully you've got a few little tools you can use going forward. And then I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for our next next little body part that we will journey to tomorrow. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate seeing you. It's great to see all your faces there.